sure you're wondering why all the empty seats, but it's going to be a fun game today. Popularly known as the Cameroonian Jim Ike, he starred in over 15 movies and he's very single. So I made it my mission today to find him a girlfriend or at least take him out on a date. So it's going to be an interesting game. Let's find out who it picks. It's Jeffrey Apule. Ooh. I've been fighting to get you on. Uh, You're so unavailable. No, no, not really. Um, I've been fighting to get here like forever. <laughs> so fresh. <laughs> I shaved for the occasion. Yes. How come you're single? I am um, cheeky. Cheeky, very cheeky. You're too fine to be single. Um, I think uh, there's a different definition for handsome these days. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so this doesn't fall into it. That's all. There's one thing I need to know. Yeah. Do you kiss girls in your movies? Yes. I do. Would you do a sex scene? Like, <clears throat> okay, uh, I don't want to know the down and dirty, but would you do a sex scene? I heard you were coming up into movies, so <laughs> that option is very open. <laughs> and I've been working out, so you will fear there'll be abs. <clears throat> uh, Show me. Well, well, the abs, <laughs> no, 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 right now. Uh, let's, let's wait for the scene. Actually. Who would you avoid a sex scene with? No, as long as we have it uh, on the script in the contract, there's no, there's no dodging. I would do a sex scene with anybody. Um, free? Nope, of course. <laughs> protection or not protection? Protected. <laughs> so you go full on. That's what you mean. Well, if um, you know, sometimes you have to go get into the real thing, and mm. if you, if that has to bring the effects mm. required, I will go with mm. the protection. Yes. Jeffrey, yeah. now I'm scared. Don't be. If I see you on any movie, I'm not auditioning for it. Uh, you should. <laughs> you should. I, are you married yet? That's me interviewing her now. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, about sex scenes, sex and uh, we haven't got to that stage yet where we actually do real life sex scenes like that. We just get to simulate a lot of emotions and put them together. So do not worry about that. Uh, the directors worry more about the expressions as emotions. We just play it. Okay, usually in relationships, right, let me say if a lady is dating a guy who's an actor, mm. for example, if you're an actor and your lady is watching you in a movie and she has to see something very steamy and intimate going on, how do you reassure her about that not being intimate and personal? Uh, fortunately, most of my relationships have always been with um, ladies in the industry. So I think uh, I've never really had that problem because they tend to understand mm -hmm. the kind of job I do and who I am. You know, so it's, I've never really had that problem. How do you feel about people identifying you with Jim Ike? Before, before that was before. When but very I very much so still. When I started, it was a major problem. Yeah. I actually um, lived with the Jim Ike effect for a bit until I met him and worked with him. Then I realized that there was more I had to do to come out of that shadow. Mm -hmm. And you working with him really, really, really helped me a lot. You know, it, it put me in confidence, and now I'm, I'm. I think I am my own actor. I'm trying to be my own build the Apollo Jeffrey brand in my own way as much as possible, trying to shift from that. It's still very difficult. He's an exceptional actor, very intelligent human being. So um, sometimes, yeah, it is good basking in the glory of the Jamaica effect, but I'm working on really shifting on that. Okay, we don't see a lot of you on social media. You're very limited on social media. Is there a reason to that? Yeah, I think so, because um, I, I'm, I'm working towards, uh, this is a school. <laughs> Give it to me. This is a school. This is a school. I'm working with um, with um, uh, a, a production house uh, to sign a contract yeah. for management. So um, for like six months, eight months now, I've been under the radar because I have to control whatever goes out, whatever okay. comes in, in terms of my image. Sometimes I go once in a while to post, but um, until I sign that, I cannot. I cannot be active because it's going to be controlled from with the with the production house and all that. So bigger things coming up, huh? I can say that. Girlfriend coming up? Um, not yet. Why are you single? Um, still trying to get that. How hard can it be? There are a lot of ladies floating around. Uh, I know she's out there. She's out there. Have you seen any that catches your eye? Yeah. One. Who? Have you both <laughs> I am not going to stand there. By the way, I made it my mission today to find a girl. So we're going to play a little game. I blindfold you and then I have a series of young chicks come at. Wow. But then again, you'll not know what anybody looks like. Okay. And you ask straight up questions and eliminate off there. Well, you just have to do this. 
straight on. I need to see you with a chick. I can't leave you floating around. All right, all right, all right. See, see, you're doing the hookup. I don't mind. I'm sure it's going to be. Bear in mind that you have to go on a date after this, so it's not just yes, you, and that's it. I'm good. I think I'm ready to go. All right. So I'll kick up with the blindfold. Oh, my. <laughs> Is that it? it? looks like uh, something that you uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the covers. This, no, no peeking. I need I'm to make sure. Not peeking. I don't cheat. You can't see. Okay. okay. Ladies, come on out. And they're smiling, Jeffrey, all for you. All right. This is going to be interesting. I bet with the guy, with the thing, you can't see anything. <laughs> You don't need to. If you go by looks, you probably take all of them home today. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a person who goes by looks. Generally. Would you say that? Yeah. Why do you take care of yourself then? I, I do it for the camera. Sweet stuff. I've got my three cute, sexy ladies out here for you. I'll present them, but maybe the name will influence you, so I'll just keep it at no. Okay. Yeah? All right. Okay. I'm going to help you with the questions. Are you, yeah, I can't see, obviously. <laughs> for the first session before the eliminations, we're going to do... Two sets of three questions each. Okay. And then you pick who you want to keep. Lady number one, number two, or number three. I'm the only one who knows what the numbers are. Okay. Sweet stuff. So, starting from... Gina. Describe your ideal man. Caring. Smart. Good looks. My tribe. What's your tribe? <clears throat> So that rules you out, Jeffrey. Hmm. <laughs> I'm half Bakurian, so honestly. For real? Yeah, my mom is Bakurian. Was. You're in the game then. I'm still in the game. <laughs> she is too. <laughs> <laughs> Lady number two. How would you react if you found out Jeffrey cheated on you? That's just part of me. Uh, so I'll just be the woman I have to be. Stay with him. Okay. Lady number three. Would you be okay to stay in a fa sorry, would you be okay to stay on a family holiday with me, my baby, and my baby member all together in the same space? Would you be happy to stay on a family holiday with Jeffrey, his baby, his baby mama, and you all in the same space? Hell no. That was cold. <clears throat> Oh, you do about that? Uh, she should be scared. <laughs> Not judging her. <laughs> Next set of questions, okay? What is your craziest social experience? Craziest. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to take your peek with the celebrity. Have you done that before? Something you've done before? Yeah. yeah. Lady number two. How would you dress up for your first date with Jeffrey? My first date, I love dressing in trousers, so I'll come out in trousers and sneakers like I always like to appear. Great stuff. Lady number three, have you traveled to anywhere cool lately? Yes. Where would that be? Wally. And what did you do? Relax with friends, go out, chair. And we're done with our first session, Jeffrey. Sorry, I'm not taking the blind blindfold off yet. Okay. But I'd like you to tell me, out of lady number one, two, three, uh, who would you like to keep and who would you like to leave us? I'm keeping one and two. So? Yes. We're letting go lady number three. Yep. Lady number three, thanks for being part of the game. See you soon. Hope I didn't just send away you. Uh, that, that's why I didn't want you to see anything. Mm. So for our next phase, we've got two amazing ladies left. Who is going to stay and who is going to go home? And when I mean stay, stay for a date. Who wants to stay? Who wants Jeffrey? So you're both fighting. Can you just pull your hair off and let it end here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's even worse. So I'm going to start with you, right? Next question. If you had to win the lottery tomorrow, what would be the first thing you buy for Jeffrey? I'm going to buy him his own ticket. A ticket? Yeah. When you say ticket? A plane ticket for him to go with me. Where are you going off to with it? Take him away from here? 
yeah, if I'm to go, if I'm to go out of this country, I'm going to go with you. Oh, romantic getaway. Are you up for that? <laughs> sounds, sounds, sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds, sounds good. Lady number two, what do you do on Friday nights? On Friday nights, I stay home at times and go through. Since I'm a blogger, I have to do more of my studies online, try to go through other blogs to see what they do. Since I work during the week, I don't have time for that. And when you're not at home, what do you do? When I'm not at home, maybe on a romantic night out or a chill night. Are you sure you're single? <laughs> Lady number one, what's the rom most romantic gesture you've ever done towards a guy? Close his eyes, taking him to a direction where, like, I mean, his favorite meal. Yeah. And what would that favorite meal be for that guy? Pancake. She's good in the kitchen, would say. <laughs> Lady number two, what turns you on in a man? Mm -hmm. I have something for handsome guys. So he just needs to be handsome, that's it, and you're gone. When you're handsome and the attitude, you shouldn't be sure. Are you safe? I'm not that safe. Are you safe? I'm not to fool like that. <laughs> and, she, and she was actually leading. <laughs> when you say you're short, <laughs> Based on this so far, I'll let you pick who you want to stay and who you want to live. Mm, this is a problem. Wow. Like I have to be right now. Yes. Right now. And the catch is this. The lady who leaves will not necessarily get a date with you unless she convinces you with the next question that she's good enough. The lady who stays, you mean? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, it's certainly number one. Number one stays or um, leaves? Number one stays. Oh, I can feel you're closer to the dates. Thank you for participating. Okay, thank you too. <laughs>Okay, the catch Jeffrey didn't know about is the last lady has a question that she'll answer to convince him to stay with him because we want it to last longer than just a date right okay but before that you talked about cooking I want to know what can you cook aside from pancakes what else can you do in the kitchen I make cakes uh -huh. do you do anything African like eru yeah, kind eru, of thing mm -hmm. Jeffrey's gone. Jeffrey's gone. Last question, the catch question. Describe your perfect, the ideal sexual fantasy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> like, in another way? Just spill. If Jeffrey was the man and he had to make you climb on cloud 11, in fact, what would you like him to do? White kiss. Is that it? White kiss and some romance, hmm? but kissing. If you're good at that, Jeff, that turns me off. Is that any challenge to you? Because I thought you were better at. <coughs> uh, at what? <coughs> at what? <coughs> I didn't get you. Your arms. Were you working that out for kisses? <laughs> uh, no, but not for kisses. It was, it was definitely. Okay. One of you has to challenge me. If she's talking about kisses, challenge me to some other sexual fantasy. What's yours? My sexual fantasy. Yeah, no. It's just a confident lady. That's all. Are you confident? Yeah. Do we have a winner, Jeff? Um, technically, yes. I need that to be for real. She is. She cooks kwakoko. She makes kwakoko eru. She bakes. Pancakes in the morning? Pancakes in the morning. Uh, she will take me on a, on a vacay. Um, plus, uh, she's Bakurian. I'm Bakurian too. Like I'm Bakurian too. <laughs> no, you're from Ghana. We have one. I checked, <laughs> I checked the Facebook post and you are from Ghana. <laughs> Jeff, we definitely have a winner. I can't wait to show you your prize. All right. Ready? Uh, I am ready. I expect a smile. Uh, Three, two.
Mm. <laughs> okay. Do you know her? I know. Never Come and hug him. Be excited. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hi. I'm Jeffrey. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Miss B. You need to. You need to... <laughs> what? I was expecting some wet kisses. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We haven't done the contract and stuff yet. <laughs> I'd like you to present yourself to Jeffrey because you're going out on a date tonight. Oh, you like Oh, nice. I am Nicola Jeffrey. I'm an actor. She knows. Yeah, she, knows. she came for you. Uh, it's nice meeting you. You are very, extremely, very beautiful. Thank you. And I hope we have uh, an awesome date together. Yeah. What do you like? Beer wine? Juice. Juice. She, I, I made a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Before we leave you, check Jeffrey out on his social media links on... Uh, Jeffrey Puller, that is on uh, my official page on Facebook. And then you just go to Jay Puller on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm not yet on Twitter. But I am on Facebook again as uh, Puller Jeffrey Jeff. Uh, that's my normal account. Uh, other social media outlets will be opening soon, as, as I explained, um, up to signing something with a production house. So I hope I'm going to get bigger and huger visibility for my fans and everybody else who's been sympathetic to my cause. Perfect stuff. That's Jeffrey for you. It was amazing and I'll keep you updated on the date. And six months down the line, we'll find out if there's a baby on the way or a wedding on the way. Nine months. Nine months. <laughs> Thanks to all the ladies for participating and here we absolutely have no losers. But we're lighting you up with something really sweet and we're branding you Miss B. While Gina goes on a date with Jeffrey, she wins the prize. So go home now. They give us a flight. <laughs> Thank you for being part of the game. Thank you. We can use the flight to relax. You know it's just tuna. <laughs> Bye.